during the centuries in which Chinese, Indian, and Islamic mathematicians had been in the ascendancy. Europe had plunged into the dark ages in which science, mathematics, and almost all intellectual endeavors terminated. Scholastic scholars only value studies in the humanities, such as philosophy and literature, and consume much of their energies quarreling over subtle subjects in metaphysics and theology. Throughout the centuries, Chinese, Indian, and Islamic mathematicians worked together to solve problems. Europe had descended into the Dark Ages as a result of its ascendancy a period during which science, technology, and arts were all but non-existent. Almost every intellectual pursuit, including mathematics, came to halt. Only academics are admitted. Humanities courses like philosophy and literature were highly prized, and he spent most of his time studying them. Time machine transports us to the Middle Ages. Recognize what we are in the Middle Ages. Now, let's watch the beautiful ladies in their royal robes. We are here in Italy, in which the world of Pisani, better known by his nickname Fibonacci, was perhaps the most talented Western mathematician of the Middle Ages. Little known of his name is that the one was the son of a customs official, and as a child he traveled around North Africa with his father, where he learned about Arabic mathematics. On his return to Italy, he helped to disseminate his knowledge throughout Europe in the setting and motion of rejuvenation in European mathematics, which laid largely dormant for centuries. He also discovered the Fibonacci sequence, the sequence which had been known to Indian math since the 6th century, has many interesting mathematical properties and many of the implications and relationships of the sequence were not discovered until several centuries after Fibonacci's death. Presenting the samples of Fibonacci. 1, 2, 3, 5, 8, 13, 21, 34, and continues independently. Each number was obtained by adding the last two digits together. If we took a perfect or golden rectangle break down into a smaller squares based in Fibonacci sequence and divide each with arc. The patterns begin to take shape. We begin to see Fibonacci spiral. Take for example the sunflower. The display of its florence are in perfect spiral in 55, 34, and 21, the sequence of Fibonacci. The fruitlets of pineapple create the same spiral based on sequence. The pine on the same as current move to the ocean in the tide row into shore. The waves that bring in the tide cure into spiral that can be mathematically diagrammed onto a plot a points 1, 1, 2, 2, 3, 5, 8, 13, 21, 34, and 55. Vibes on trees, sun dollars, starfish, petals on flowers, and specially shells are formed with this same blueprint. With each segment of growth, the shell itself has one more value on the Fibonacci scale. This blueprint can be seen around us on a small scale every day, but the greatest example of all is directly above our heads and an average of 100,000 light years across. Even the spiral of the galaxy above us is formed with the exact design that the tiny shell formed. This sequence is a blueprint. And now, we are moving on to another mathematician. But moving on doesn't mean you forget things. It 
just means we have to accept what happened and continue living. Just continue living in this world full of mystery. Like all this another mathematician. Watch this. And now, we are here in France, the land of lovers, that one of the medieval mathematicians is living here during this time, Nicole Orisme. Nicole Orisme was a French mathematician who invented coordinate geometry long before Descartes. He was the first to use a fractional exponent and also work on infinite series. He was also a Catholic bishop, scholastic philosopher, economist, and mathematician whose work provided some basis for the development of modern mathematics and science and French prose, particularly his scientific vocabulary. Oresme is generally considered the greatest medieval economist. Additionally, be the Lord of Pan. He was a 12th century English natural philosopher. He is known both for his original works and for translating many important Arabic and Greek scientific works of astrology, astronomy, philosophy, etc., and math, thematics in Latin from Arabic first tones, which were then introduced to Western Europe. He is known as one of the first to introduce the Arabic numeral system to Europe. He stands at the convergence of three intellectual schools, the traditional learning of French school, the Greek culture of southern Italy, and the Arabic science of the East. So, he introduced algebra to the Latin world and his commentaries in Euclid's elements were extremely influential in the 13th century. Adelaar displayed original thought of a scientific bent questioning the shape of the earth and asking how it remains stationary in space. Moreover, medieval European mathematicians' interests differ from modern mathematicians. They believe that mathematics provided the foundation for understanding the created order of nature, as evidenced by Plato's Timaeus, which presents an intricately broad account of the universe's formation, as well as a biblical passage in the Book of Wisdom that God had ordered all things in measure, number, and weight. Generally, the contribution of numerous mathematicians in the medieval period, today's organized life is rough in the foundation of mathematics. We cannot resolve any challenges in our daily lives without statistics and mathematical data. There are times, measures, rates, wages, tenders, discounts, claims, supply jobs, stocks, contracts, taxes, money exchange, consumption, and so on. And we would be in a state of uncertainty and familiar if this sports data were not available.